Okay, so today on the bench really doesn't matter what it is because that's not what the video is about. <laughs> uh, this one just showed up out of the blue. A customer sent this to me. Uh, the note says, I guess he tried tuning the radio up on an antenna tuner, output power went down, and then all of a sudden the fuse blew. And now as soon as you turn the radio on, the fuse blows. So, you know, I haven't taken it out of the bag yet because I'm trying not to disturb this damn bag too much. <laughs> but he, he put in the note that if it's the finals bad, he's included three. There's only one problem with this, and that's what this video is about. Those are MOSFETs, okay? MOSFETs are extremely sensitive to static electricity. They do not like static. You have to remember, static electricity can get into the hundreds and thousands of volts in a, you know, in a, in a bolt of static electricity. Uh, and those things do not handle static electricity very well. Um, and how are they shipped? They're taped to a plastic bag Probably the two most, the, the two worst possible things you could do to a MOSFET. Plastic and scotch tape. <laughs> They're both horrible. Scotch tape, just, just the act of pulling scotch tape is extremely staticky. Um, and then a plastic bag, known for just, just, you know, rub the plastic together for just a split second, and yeah, it's like a magnet for dust. That's because static electricity. So I have absolutely no clue if those things are even good anymore. Um, so, of course, I'm going to try to get them off of the bag with, be as gentle, not moving the bag around as much as possible, um, sticking on the anti-static strap so I'm grounded, working on an ESD mat. <laughs> the other thing I'm going to do is, is, uh, Take a, I'm going to clip all three of those leads together for each of those and then try and remove the tape off of them. Um, yeah, I just, I, I can't think of a, a possible way you could worsely, you know, more poorly package uh, a MOSFET. So just a word to the wise, that's what this video is on. Proper handling <laughs> and transportation of static sensitive uh, semiconductors, this, <laughs> I should have a bunch of big red flags to hold up because everything is wrong with this picture. <laughs> so, um, and I can't fault the customer if the customer doesn't know. That's, you know, lack of knowledge. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. But now, you, the customer, if you watch this, you'll know. And anybody else, yes, when you're handling MOSFETs, please try to be very, very, it's not just... Not just transistors, integrated circuits, especially TTL and CMOS stuff. Very static sensitive. Uh, there's a lot of parts. It, it doesn't take much. Just a, a rustling of a, of a plastic bag and poof, it's gone. That's why whenever you receive parts like this, they'll be in an anti-static tube. It may be a plastic tube, but it's coated with an anti-static or a conductive coating. Same thing with bags. Uh, if they're the aluminized bags, they should be conductive or you can get... Uh, the ones that just, it's a plastic bag, but it has an anti-static coating on it. Um, you, you store components like this. I stick them in carbon conductive foam. Actually, I can reach around and pull the drawer, one of my drawers out with that stuff in it. You know, this stuff. This isn't just regular black foam. This is actually conductive. Take an ohm meter and, you know, clip here and here, and there's actually, it, it's conductive. It conducts electricity. Matter of fact, if you hook this stuff you hook up a power supply lead here and here. Yeah, this stuff will go up in smoke because it is a conduct. It is conductive, um, and that's this whole. The whole idea is it conducts electricity, so it dissipates any static electricity that there might be. But yeah, when you're transporting something like that, that's what should have been done. Those should have been stuck in a piece of this. And actually, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just push. Matter of fact, that piece right there on to all nine of those leads. And then very, very carefully remove that uh, that tape. Oh, man, it just... When it dawned on me what was taped on there, I, my jaw just, just about hit the floor. <laughs> so, word to the wise, semiconductors, be careful, people. You can, you can easily blow them up before you even install them. 